One thing I didn't mention when I was demonstrating how I water marble, since I wasn't actually water marbling, I didn't show you how I protect my cuticles. I used to use scotch tape around my cuticles, and from there I tried Vaseline around my fingers, and from there I went to chapstick around my fingers for cleanup, and now I am back to using scotch tape, and this is why I do it. I take a small piece of tape, and I place it right below my cuticle on my finger. Then what I do is I take a longer piece of scotch tape, and I start it right along the edge of my cuticle, overlapping that base piece that I put, and I get fairly close to the edge. And then I take that long piece and I'm going to wrap it all the way around the top of my finger and bring it down next to my cuticle and attach it to the first piece of tape I put on. So now I have this flat piece here. It's wrapped all the way around and my finger is very well protected. When I pull my finger out of the water Right away, I will take a scissors, and I will go in and I will cut, and then I'm able to pull the tape off slowly, all in one piece. And what that'll leave me with is a little bit of cleanup that's needed right in the corners, right around the edges, and usually very little on the back side of my finger. So that works really, really well for me. As far as bubbles in the water, the biggest thing you have to worry about with that is when you are mixing your nail polish, never shake your polish. Always roll the polish. I usually, especially after I add um, polish thinner, I'll turn the bottle upside down and I'll just roll it slowly until I feel like it's mixed. Another way that I like to mix my polish rather than shaking is to just swish the actual brush around in my nail polish. I find that I get a lot less bubbles in my water marbles by doing that. Um, when I have my pattern in my water, once I've decided what part of the pattern I'm going to use on my finger, um, don't waste any time. You don't want that polish to get too dry because it's not gonna it's not gonna go on your finger the way you want it to. So that's something that um, you find you need to do fairly quickly. And I'll be back with some more tips as I think of them.